My name is John Resnick, and I am a production designer, prop master, and pretty much a jack of all trades. About 25 years ago, I met a guy who was a special effects makeup artist. Uh, I had a little warehouse, I was doing little production stuff, and he taught me how to do special effects makeup, and uh, I went on set, and I was hooked. Today we're in my studio in Sarasota. This is where we store a lot of our props. This is where we do a lot of our setup. So in Florida, there's been a lot of films that have come through over the years, and we've had films like Spring Breakers, Sunlight Junior, The Infiltrator, and a lot of props came from this building here. Welcome to my office. This is where all the magic happens. Over here, we have uh, some props from the movie Infiltrator. Uh, they were used by uh, Brian Cranston. We have his, uh, his ID, he's a detective. We have some drug cash. And we have the weapons used by Brian Cranston when he played in that film here at the location. Here's our Spring Breakers uh, little wall of fame here. We supplied a lot of guns to Spring Breakers and those are Franco's glasses. They're the anti-glare Franco glasses that were used for close-up shots. And here, used for the robbery scene in Spring Breakers, uh, Ashley Benson and Vanessa Hudgens. Just before they robbed the, uh, the diner in Tampa, they filled this uh, squirt gun with alcohol and then they taped it, they were drinking out of it, and they used this gun to rob uh, the diner. Uh, they, people thought it was real because it had the tape on it, but it's just a squirt gun. In our back storage, we have a ton of props that have been stored away for at least 10 years. There's stuff from uh, a few horror films that were shot in Florida, some like carnival, dark ride kind of haunts that were shot. So you'll see back there uh, a couple cool animatronic pieces, an animatronic clown, uh, some really big, big set dress pieces, uh, things like that. We get asked for a lot of period props. It seems like recently, uh, a lot of people are doing 70s, 60s, and 70s stuff. Lots of radios, phones, there's some phone booths behind us. You, always, you, know, you don't see a phone booth anymore. My most common props that people ask for, strangely enough, police lights, gurneys, and coffins, which I don't know why those are the hot, hot buttons, but everyone seems to need a gurney, a police light, or a coffin. Sometimes they're for a crime drama. They come to town, they want to reenact, you know, like uh, Unsolved Mysteries or something. Uh, sometimes it's a horror, a horror film or a horror short, uh, but it seems like most, mostly uh, commercials like reenactment stuff. We're in the back storage of uh, the studio here. We keep a lot of props, like this head prop here. We store a lot of stuff back here. There's, there's, uh, these are some autopsy tabletops. If you're doing a vintage uh, mortuary scene, and these are basically the the, the top of the uh, autopsy table that they used to use in the uh, mortuaries for uh, embalming tables, basically. So they're plastic, but in, on film they look real. Skeletons, you always gotta have a skeleton. Everyone needs a skeleton. Everyone's gotta have a Terminator. If you don't have a Terminator, you're just not, you know, you're not living. <laughs> this thing is a model of the Terminator. It's built pretty much the spec of the real size of the Terminator. His eyes light up. Every movie, we've always had cameras from you know, the 20s all the way up, even later than that, actually. But every little project seems to be like, like these cameras here, they're used for, you know, like 50s uh, paparazzi or crime scene detectives. Uh, these cameras with the big flash bulbs on them. Toxic Pictures is basically a multifaceted small production company. We, uh, we supply a lot of equipment to local reality shows and things around Florida. We supply props for projects and we also produce commercials and small TV ventures. Uh, we've done a lot of things for the television show industry like Undercover Boss, uh, Siesta Key that was shot here in Sarasota around Tampa Bay. Well, a lot of people don't understand that props and, and set props, set dress, is a big important part of making a, a commercial or, or a, a feature. When you're making a film or a short, uh, subconsciously we don't realize that the elements around somebody in a film or a project kind of tells a story about their life. If you see an apartment of a, a single man, uh, if, if you just shoot a regular apartment, you won't get any any background on what the guy, you know, his life is like. So you'll you'll set dress in bicycles, you know, maybe uh, some sporting equipment. It's little elements that you don't think about that your mind needs to see. 
to believe that this particular character is living in this in this dwelling, right? It's something that doesn't seem like it's important, but if you don't have the, the props and the set dress around you to tell the life story, you gotta believe he's living in that apartment. In anything, a restaurant, a store, everything has to feel like you're legitimately in the place that you're at.